guys, it's Adria, and today we are going to be talking about something conspiracy related. I have been wanting to do a conspiracy video probably since the beginning of my channel. I'm a conspiracy nut. I love it so freaking much. I thought to kick off, you know, some conspiracy stuff, we would start with time travel because it's probably one of my favorite conspiracy related topics. Does it even count as conspiracy? Kind of? I don't know. Probably. Is it? Let me just say, I am so freaked out right now. Okay, I was doing some research for this video because, you know, YouTuber life, you gotta get your research, girl. But you know what? I regret it so much. I am so incredibly freaked out. I could not sleep, girl. Ooh! I found some scary stuff. Let me just say, first of all, I don't know if I 100% believe or not if time travel is possible. It's just fun to watch videos about and hear stories about and see pictures and things related to time travel. It's just a cool thought. You know, even if it's 100% fake, it's just a cool thing to talk about, think about, ponder, and get freaked out and not sleep about. So I wanted to find like a bunch of time travel related stuff, but like I said, I freaked myself out and then I had to stop. I honestly had to stop myself because I was just getting so freaked out. I think there's people like causing a commotion outside. Time travelers outside. So the first time travel story we are going to talk about today is the Charlie Chaplin's time traveler. If you are a time travel junkie like myself, you've probably heard this story before. In the 1928 film by Charlie Chaplin called The Circus, there appears to be a clip of a woman walking and holding what could may very well be a cell phone. Obviously, 1928, no one had cell phones back then. People like to rain on this time travel boat and be like, um, it was probably just like an old-fashioned hearing aid and you know that could very well maybe but I mean she's uh and it looks like she's talking too it looks weird in case you haven't seen it here's the clip right now is she holding a cell phone I don't know if it's real but either way it's creepy I mean old stuff I mean in black and white and it's just old and it's weird and nobody knows and it's a mystery so either way it's just it's kind of creepy I'm honestly so freaked out you know I feel like there's people in my house so this next one is about a book with a photo in it with a man who doesn't fit in with the time period at all so the book itself was printed in 1974 but the photo was taken in 1917 as it says in the caption under the photo the group of people all seem to fit in with that time period early 1900s so everybody is gonna be kind of dressed not in t-shirts and shorts like this guy what is this guy doing and there's even a man in the photo staring at that guy so how did that guy get there did he just magically poof there just like what happened there? I think the part that is the most creepy about this is his modern day haircut. I mean, just look at that guy's hair. Nobody back in 1917 would have hair like that. I don't know if it's photoshopped, if it's fake. I mean, it was found in an old bookstore. How did that happen? Okay, so this was probably the one that scared me the most when I was gathering my research for this video. Girl, get ready to be freaked out, okay? So, this is about a guy named Rudolf Fentz who in 18... 1976 just went missing without a trace. In 1950 in New York City, a man in 19th century clothing was hit by a car and was killed on the street. And what they discovered in his pockets is horrifying, girl. They found business cards with the name Rudolph Fence on them, along with like 70 bucks, a token for like a free beer or something like that, you know? <sighs> Gotta get down, boy. A bill for horse care and washing of a carriage. Nobody had that in 1950. There was cars. He was hit by a car. Why did he have a bill for horse care and his carriage to be washed. Honestly, I'm gonna throw up. And I guess there was also like a letter or something with like his address on it and they like confirmed it to be accurate and I'm just like, girl, you know what? Ooh! creep me out and a lot of researchers do believe that it was actually him because I mean with things that are like time travel a lot of people are skeptical about it and they find ways to disprove it but this it seems is actually legit I don't know if you've never heard of this before I would go look it up yourself I mean I was looking this up at like midnight last night in the dark by myself I just I'm 
I can't. But quite honestly, I don't know how I feel about time travel because even the thing with like the Chaplin time traveler and there has been other instances of old footage with people talking on what appears to be cell phones. The issue with that is where would the cell phone tower be and how would the phone work and who would they even be talking to? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, here's a thought. What if tons of years into the future our cell phones don't even need cell phone towers and we could literally use a cell phone like from the moon or something? You never know. I mean, I remember being like six years old and being like, huh, wouldn't it be funny if you could talk on the phone and actually see the person you're talking to? Now it exists. So maybe we won't even need cell phone towers. I, that's probably physically impossible, but I've seen other things with like cars appearing out of nowhere and a guy on a bike appearing out of nowhere. And there was one where this truck was about to hit a guy on a bike. And then it seemed like this guy just came out of nowhere. And then the guy running and the guy on the bike just disappeared. The man got out of his truck to see who he'd hit and there was nobody there. They just vanished. I feel like the most convincing form of time travel I've ever seen, if I've ever seen anything worth you know, being like, okay, that's time travel. I couldn't find the guy's name or like the story or anything, but just from my memory, I remember there was a guy who won like so many bets and like he won the lottery. He won like so much money all within a matter of, I think it was a week. It was just very suspicious. And it's like, how would he know to place all those bets? I mean, and if you've ever seen the show, oh, I recommend if you love time travel and conspiracy, watch the show with um, my daddy in it. What the heck is that guy's name? Super good looking crow's feet dad hot pineapple express dude james franco i'd recommend watching that if you like things about time travel that show really gave me a thrill girl and in that show he basically like travels through like a tear or like some kind of wormhole type thing and scientists believe that that could actually be possible there was this guy <laughs> Another one. I'm just pulling these out of my hat now at this point. There was this man who claimed to have gone into the future and met his future self. He one day was just working under his sink like on a leaky pipe or something and he noticed the back of his cabinet was a lot farther back than he had remembered and he was just like, dude, what the heck girl? Like why? He's like, oh, let me just crawl back. Girl, let me tell you what. If I went under my kitchen cabinet and it looked like it just went on forever, I'd be out of here. I'd be packing my bags. I'd be like, ha, bye. Although I can kind of see where that curiosity came from. Like, dude, why is there like a 10 million foot long tunnel under my sink? So he crawled through it. When he finally got to the other side, he was in the future and he met his future self. And because he knew nobody would believe him. He took a video with his future self. This one I'm kind of skeptical about. This one you could easily just find someone who looks like you. Like that guy could have been like his dad. Everybody's like, well, they have the same tattoo. Like girl, you can get a stencil of that stuff. I mean, and even the guy in the future, his tattoo looked brand new. It didn't look faded or aged or anything like that. So I'm a little skeptical about this one. I don't believe everything I see. Okay, it's literally 800 hours later. I'm the greatest YouTuber to ever walk this earth to ever travel through time and space um i forgot to mention hitler supposedly was building a time machine how do, how do you pronounce it brandon Bigaco. die glock die glock like that's the most american way to say it so they think that hitler was building this time machine it had a bunch of radioactive things around it where the people working on it a lot of them got sick and a lot of them died <laughs> What? So it's like the Glocka. The Glocka. The Glocka. Well, apparently he thought that with the Glocka, he could win World War II. Now, nobody knows where it is today. They don't know if it's still around or not. Honestly, all this thought of time travel gives me like Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite vibes when he got that time machine. <laughs> Like literally, I forgot to put in the crystals. <laughs> Have any of you guys ever heard about this? They did not teach us this in school. I remember learning about World War II and Nazis and Hitler and all that. I never heard about the Glocka. Did you guys ever hear about that? No, the government, they don't want us to know anything. I know, honey, I'm not a sheep. Uncle Rico and Napoleon Dynamite got a time machine and it didn't work, but you know what? Maybe you don't need a machine. Maybe you just need to tear a hole in the air and just kind of walk through it or just crawl under your kitchen sink and crawl to the back of it and then go meet yourself in the future. And I can't believe I forgot to talk about Hitler's bell. It was one of those things where I watched like a whole half hour long show and then afterward, I don't remember anything. I was that kid in school, you know? <sighs> Just don't retain any information. Okay, so this little inserted segment is now done. Is time travel possible? Listen, if it ever is, and if 
we have access to it ever in the future. I feel like I would want to go into the future and make sure that I turned out okay. Be like, you good girl. We good. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video today. I'm honestly, I'm so creeped out. I feel like I just have goosebumps and I'm home alone. So this is just so freaky. I don't know. I need a friend. I need somebody. Frida! And I'm super tired today because I did not sleep last night because I am creeped out. So guys, let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on time travel? Do you have any other cool time travel stories that I left out of this video? I know there are so many others that I just didn't cover. I mean, girl, I had to cut my research short, as we all know. So yeah, leave cool time travel things down in the comments below and, you know, let me know. Do you think it could happen? Do you think it's all just propaganda? Like, girl, I don't know. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like like and subscribe if you haven't. I put out videos three times a week. And a lot of you guys ask me what days of the week I post. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you subscribe every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, you can have a little taste of me. That'll be fun. And definitely let me know if you want me to do more conspiracy related videos. I'd love to do one on the Illuminati. I think that would be really fun. The Mandela effect is cool. 9-11. Anybody want me to cover more conspiracies, let me know. I live for this stuff. I literally want to be what they call a truther. That's what they call them in the documentaries. You know, people that just speak the truth, honey. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye! Lord, I'm gonna try to tear a hole in the space and time and I'm gonna try to go into the future. Oh, I could have, should have done it when I had my long nails on. Darn it, now I won't be able to, well now I'll never go into the future. What the heck? <laughs>